damage control. And no matter how I have the position, overhook, underhook, double underhook, we can get these sweeps, all right? So the first one is I'm right here. I may have this hand right here or this hand right here. It really doesn't matter. Now, what my goal is as we're moving, all right, my goal is to pull and get him to step, all right? And the goal is, if he's trying to keep his body upright a little bit more, he'll step to catch his balance, all right? Now, what I want to do when I do that is I want to catch his foot right before he's stepping, all right? So again, a lot of times I might be here, I might take this little step in like this, and I pull, all right? So his foot's coming then in, inside that to catch his balance. So in the midst of that, when I pull, I'm going to go this, and I pull that foot right out before he touches. Right? And that's the key. I don't want to be too late because if I go like this and step and I go boom and now it's too late. I have to catch it right when he's putting it. So the biggest thing is just put your foot out there. Try not to do too much. That's the one thing when people have a problem is they try too hard to sweep. You just put your foot out there and you let them fall right over it. That's the, that's the kicker because everyone's going to take that step. And when they take that step, you just drop the foot right there, right? So it's timing it right before he's about to put the foot down. And I like to do this with my, with my sweep and pull his head down. You can see how I force him to take that step. And when it pulls head down, it's easier to sweep that person. Okay, now the second one is on inside. I usually do this one on a, in an inside position like this. And my goal is to pull him around. And again, I'm trying to get him to take that step. As soon as he takes that step, that's my goal, all right? So I'm right here. All right, as I lift his body up, I'm gonna take that step, boom, and I take it down, all right? But that, again, is very key timing, all right? So a lot of times I'm in here, I'm nice and tight, and I'll lift him up a little bit, and I'll pull, see that step? So right when I'm here, I go, I just continue to lift his leg right up. On that one, I try to lift the leg up. So as I'm sweeping him and taking a step, I'll pick his leg up as, as I go, all right? So right when I'm here, I'm pulling him, I see what kind of, if I'm like this, it might be a, a throw. All right, because remember, a lot of times he's working because he's trying to keep his head up in the air. And when I do that, he's going to take that step. And that's what makes these work in tie box, especially because he doesn't want to get knee in the face. So he's trying to keep his head up, so I'm going like this. So when he keeps the head up, I just see it get a little bit of a sweep. And again, all I need to do, ultimately, like you see some of the best nears, they're going to go like this. They're going to go just a little bit, and they just off balance them just a teeny bit so they can. <laughs> that's their goal. They don't want to necessarily drop them all the way down to the ground, all right? So this one right here is forcing them to step. And as soon as they step, I'm stepping them around my body, right? And as soon as he steps, I lift the ankle up. That's the key on that one. Not sliding across, but lifting up. When I want to start, feel, start doing the sweep, I'll start knee, knee. I knee, he knees. I knee, he knees, and I go, boom. And I'll take him down, and look at where he ended up. Because it's tie boxing. Whereas it's MMA, then my goal is to get him on the ground, right? So I make knee, boom, he knees, and I land. My goal is to land right on him, right, and get down to that position. Because there's a couple things that really, it's like, you know what I talked about earlier when I talked about the sprawl? Yes. Where the only way to really get the sprawl is to shoot on each other. Well, the really only way to start timing sweeps is that first you have those two-man drills like you have in judo, and then you start just playing with it, all right? And the number one thing that I found is that when you're trying too hard for the sweep, it never works. It's a weird thing, you're trying so hard. It's when you just kind of allow it to happen that it works the best, you know? And that's really just playing, just playing, just playing. And if you think, I want to ultimately sweep to knock him off balance, that makes sometimes it easier, so I'm not always thinking, I have to get this guy on the ground. Gotcha. I just want to off balance him. I just want to off balance. And then you'll find yourself where you like. I have uh, one of my guys, Andrew. He loves this sweep and he pulls it off on everybody. He pulls it off on high level wrestlers. And all he does, he's right here and he starts pushing. As soon as they push back, he just. So, and he just looks like he's not even trying. And it really, because that's all he is, he's not trying. He's not trying to pull. He's just waiting for him to push back and then he gets a little bit of tug and he just puts his foot right there to stop them, to block them out. It's the easiest sweep, and they get so frustrated because they know every time they go with this guy, that's his favorite sweep. But like I said before, you can't stop too it. bad. You have to stop it because if you don't give him any pressure, he's just gonna keep pushing you right into the cage. So as soon as you pressure back, it's a little bit of a tap. All right, so that's the number one thing on sweeping. Like the inside one, it's like you're lifting off with the hip, 
all right? And I want to lift, and I lift your foot up with me. All right, that's the key on that one. I actually lift the foot up, all right? It makes it easier to time it because you kind of control yes. where it is, when it's going to come down. When it's going to come down and how I want it to come down. Another way that I had learned this originally, it wasn't even a sweep. It was to go like this. I'd be like this to go, to get this guy and knee tap. So it was all it was, it was I'm right here, I'm pushing in, I start to see, oh, I'm stepping like that. So then I go like this, I step, and I knee tap. Ah, and it was just to get the knee. And by the nature of you trying to go for that knee, the guy almost always fell down. And I was just going, and then I learned that, that's how I initially learned that one. It was like, it was just there for you. Just there for you. And it's just, no, it's getting that, it's feeding the leg for the knee tap. And then I was like, why don't I just keep taking that, that foot with me? instead of reaching down to that leg. And then I started to time that, time that, time that. And it was slow, slow at first, and then I started doing it within the knees, and then it just kind of... Uh, Got more and more refined. Yeah, and you'll find this too. And this is something that's really important for people to understand as far as takedowns go. There are some people that just have a natural propensity for sweeping. And there's others that are more single leg based, some that are more double leg based, and some that are more throw based. And you know, you could, like, like Sean, you never saw Sean throw a lateral drop or a head and arm. He shot legs. He, he was fast. He was so fast he didn't need to do those other things. Whereas uh, some of the other guys like Volkman, he doesn't shoot a lot of really fast doubles. He just wants to get in and get to the body. And once he gets your body, he got some hold of you. And I had, uh, another guy that had, when he first came in, he took down Sean just like, mm, 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 mm. It was unbelievable. I was just like, whoa. And Sean, you know what the first thing Sean said? He goes, oh, God, this is awesome. <laughs> totally different. Wasn't no, There was no ego. He was like, wow, this is awesome. And you know what? It took two weeks to even it out because he, want, he kept training with them. And then if they said, okay, let's put boxing gloves on, guess what? It flipped. The guy had no clue what to do with it when it came to punching. So Sean took him down just like that, that, that. And the guy said, gosh, I can't. It's so odd when I start getting punched. I just forget about everything because that's what made Sean so different. And so it's really, you have to understand sometimes uh, the sweeps is really a, a person has that knack, that feel, you know, way feel right when that foot's coming down and you just naturally put it down. And, and, and I talked to Jimmy Pedro about that as well. And he said the same thing as some guys and even in judo, they're sweepers, they're foot sweepers. Hmm. And, and some people are more throwers. And so it's really kind of a, uh, uh, something that a person is, is kind of born into almost.